Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wheelchair Life and Caregiving. Um, this video, you know, it, it's kind of tricky to, to do it because everybody's situation is different. But as you all know, I'm kind of high on the scale for safety. So um, there, there could be, you know, some guidance, some tips for caregivers and uh, and safety while they're taking care of the person in the wheelchair. So let's kind of think of, of this through. Um, uh, first of all, an emergency can happen anywhere at any time. So, uh, and that we know. Um, you know, an emergency could happen in the house. Usually they happen in the kitchen, the bathroom, or the bedroom. <laughs> so... So what kind of things can you do as a caregiver to be prepared um, if something happens? Like having your phone on you and having important phone numbers on that phone um, and be able to call because every second, every minute counts uh, when the person has fallen or the person in the wheelchair has a change of medical condition uh, if the person slips and falls or, you know, gets stuck on some situation, you know, odd things can happen. You know, if they're in the bedroom, something happens there, you know, any emergency with medications, uh, you know, there's from A to Z. So you really have to think about how to plan for emergencies from A to Z. And, uh, you know, have phone numbers on the refrigerator, uh, have all the phone numbers on your cell phone, and have your cell phone with you all the time. You know, have it on a string yard, have it in your pocket, have it in your pouch, uh, whichever way. And sometimes it might not have anything to do with the, uh, with the person in the wheelchair at all. It might be a fire, it might be you know, a chemical spill nearby. So, you know, all these kind of things could happen and the caregiver needs to be on their toes, right? So um, so it's all those kind of things that we have to think about. Tornado, hurricanes. So, you know, have something pre-prepared, a packet where you just help the person in the wheelchair and you grab the packet and you go if you have to evacuate. Um, so let me see what else could happen. Um, and, and just know that you are going to be a little bit nervous. You know, I know that when I was caring for my mother for quite a few years, I would get nervous. <laughs> when the emergency would happen, I would get nervous. And so it's a little bit harder to think things through when you are shaky, when you're nervous, and, and you don't know what, you can't remember what the next step was. Um, so it's good to kind of practice in your mind or even practice with a person in the wheelchair if they uh, would like to, um, to, you know, practice an evacuation, to practice a scene in the bathroom, because the bathroom if it's a small bathroom, it's really hard for people to get in and out, you know, to uh, to get to you, to get to the person in the wheelchair. Um, so, so it's not about being neurotic <laughs> or to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> If you are a caregiver for a person in a wheelchair, no, <laughs> none of that. Um, it's it's about just being pre-prepared. So um, let's talk about the, the list of things that you can kind of think about in terms of, you know, where to prepare the most. And, and you know the home, you know the person who you're caring for. So, sorry, I have to adjust here. Um, so let's let's make a list. So for accidents in the home, whether it is the person in the wheelchair or something in the home, like a fire or something that fell in the kitchen, uh, like a whole bunch of glass or whatever. So 
be prepared for that. Any, any minor things that might happen to the person who you're caring for, like a bump or a bruise or, you know, um, uh, a cut, you know, so just a simple or basic uh, first aid kit, you know, have that uh, accessible, not high up in a shelf or somewhere where you can't find it, but somewhere <clears throat> where it's accessible for you to grab and, and, and go and, and help the person. Um, so something in the home, something outside of the home that happens, like, you know, a chemical spill can be a tornado, can be a hurricane. So any of those things that can happen outside of the home, a flood. Uh, so what kind of things would you prepare for that? Uh, so to see what kind of things would you put together to make sure that you can grab and go. Uh, a medical emergency, and this is the bigger one, the medical emergency with the person uh, in, in the wheelchair, whether they fall or there's a change in medical condition or, um, you know, a variety of things. So what kind of steps do you need to be prepared for uh, to help them uh, and, and for you not to faint or to panic, <laughs> so which could happen, you know, with my mom, she had a heart condition, so I needed, you know, I knew my CPR, uh, I knew I had my first aid kit, you know, I had everything ready, but, you know, when it happens, you, you get a little nervous, so, um, so <laughs> for the person in the wheelchair, you know, whether they fall or whether they become ill, or you know, anything with the with the wheelchair, you know, and you might not think about this, but you know, something could happen with the wheelchair, especially if it's power wheelchair. You know, for you to get to know that power wheelchair well, uh, to have phone numbers where you can call for the garage or the provider of the wheelchair to come over and uh, check it and see what's what's going on or for you to know how to uh, check the batteries or you know look at the wheels or you know clean out some gunk for from something so <laughs> so the power wheelchair is is important for you to be familiar and not to be afraid of it uh, so or the manual wheelchair you know is there something in the manual wheelchair that you need to be able to clean out or adjust for the uh, person in that wheelchair. Uh, so those are my suggestions. And this is not to be paranoid, but to pre-prepare uh, for something that could happen while you're there. If your family, you know, you, you know the, the situation in the home uh, better than anyone. So be pre-prepared for something that could happen in the home or be pre-prepared for something that could happen outside of the home as you are there as the, the person responsible, the person, the caregiver, uh, that you have everything at your disposal to address the situation. Now, it's true. We don't know what could happen tomorrow. <laughs> we don't. But we can pre-prepare a little bit to diminish the uh, excitement or the uh, stress about that particular emergency and that you have already in your mind, oh, we can do this and this and this and this is what we're, you know, Frank, don't worry, we're going to do this and this and this. So for the person in the wheelchair to know that you're already pre-prepared, um, you know, give some ease to them. You can also, you know, depending on their uh, cognitive ability and their physical ability, you can also include them in your plan so that they know what they need to do. Uh, and uh, so they have a part, you have a part, and then you can address the situation in a much more ease, you know, so that, you know, it will reduce the nervousness or the stress of the situation, that you both have a part to play. So that's also another idea that you can include the person you're caring for in the plan. So I won't put any like details in this because 
uh, because I don't know your home, <laughs> I don't know the situation. So it's really important for you to say, oh, okay, yeah, I should, you know, I don't have anything prepared for this, so I'll do this, you know, so you can kind of, you know, go through your mind and say, okay, yeah, I don't have this, or I could add this, or yeah, I'll talk to Sheila and see, you know, what other kind of things we can do if X, Y, Z happens. So uh, that is my video for caregivers today, uh, for you to be pre-prepared for any situation that might come up while you are there. Um, include yourself in that pre-prepared uh, plan so that, you know, if you cut yourself or whatever, that, that you, knew, you know where the first aid kit is. <laughs> so patch up the caregiver <laughs> so you're still functioning. <laughs> so... <laughs> So anyway, that was my video for all the caregivers today. And I'm hoping that you are doing well, that you stay safe, and feel free to uh, subscribe. Feel free to like. Anytime you like a video, it helps spread it around on the YouTube world. And subscribing, of course, helps me <laughs> in growing my channel. And it also helps me to see if a topic really is uh, helpful for the people out there. So not only the likes, but the subscriptions. So if you find this video helpful and other videos that you've watched on my channel helpful, um, feel free to subscribe. And thank you so much for coming, and I'll see you in the next one.